So the first setting that we're going to review are the options for the aspect ratio. So you just click from the drop down menu. You can see we have landscape, which is the four to three. We have the portrait, which is three to four, the square, which is one to one, and the widescreen, which is 16 by nine. So let's go ahead and go through the different options to see how it actually changes the image. So let's go ahead and start at the top with landscape mode. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely made them a bit chubbier. You know, I think we need to to name. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. It definitely made him chubby. I think I want to uh, call him Billy. So let's call him Billy the Bull. Uh, it looks really cute. <laughs> it turned out really good. So much better than... Um, so much better than my first review. Next up, let's go to portrait. These turned out really good, especially this one. Let's take a closer look. And I think it's important to understand when playing around with the different aspect ratios. For, for example, most people may think that if I just select a 16 by 9, I just may get a better image. You may want to actually cut out the bulldog. It might give you a better format for you to actually be able to have the entire body in this frame, which might be better for the project. So sometimes you have to play around with the different aspect ratios to get the exact pose that you desire. Let's do the square. So let's go ahead and click on the images so we can get a better close up. And as you guys can see, the images look really good. The eyes are starting to look better. As I mentioned in my first review of Adobe of Adobe Firefly, there was an issue with the eyes looking a bit too cartoonish. Now they're starting to look a bit more real. So I'm not sure if they did an update since the last video that I made last month, but there is a huge improvement as far as the eyes. And now we're going to do the widescreen. And so all of these turned out really good. And make sure to click on the next video as we analyze the content type.